Hi and hugs, friends, it's Candace and you are Candy King Creates. Welcome, welcome. I have some fun stuff for you today from Nashville, Indiana. My mom and I took a weekend away uh, to celebrate some kind of health scares that ended up turning out our way. And we did, I did. <laughs> My mom, not so much. I did a lot of uh, antique and thrift shopping. Uh, if you've never been to Nashville, Indiana, you just have to Google it. If you are four or five, whatever hours away, if you're anywhere close, you really need to go. It was so fun. I found some great stuff. Now, most of it is not going to have uh, some prices on it, you know, because they take them off at antique stores, which annoys the heck out of me. Uh, but I got some great stuff. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. I do a lot of uh, thrifting for junk journal supplies. I have some thrift flip throughs on my channel of junk journals, uh, but mostly it's hauls uh, of junk journal supplies. And I hope you'll hang out with me and I hope you'll enjoy this video. And if you do, please, I would appreciate it so much if you would give this video a like and perhaps uh, subscribe to the channel and come back and be a part of our crafty family here. And if you are returning, hugs, hugs, I have some fun stuff. It's going to be probably a little short today, uh, but we got fun stuff. So let's get all of this out of the way and let's get started. <gasps> More irons. And uh, these were, this little one was five, if I remember correctly, and these were eight. Uh, I don't pay over $10 for them, but I love them very much. It all started with one. I needed one, or I found one for real cheap. And I thought, oh my gosh, that would be great to set right in the middle of your journal, you know, uh, while you're working to hold it open. Uh, it'll be great to hold down and flatten books, you know, put books on papers to flatten them and put a couple irons and then one and then two would even be better than one. And now I, I couldn't even tell you. The collection has uh, grown. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I just recorded a video a few minutes ago. I think it was just a hodgepodge and there was an iron in there. <laughs> so yeah, I, I love them. They they work really, really good. They're also good bookends which of course we all have a lot of those. Before we get started, I would love to mention that this video is part of a collaboration for Thrifty Thursday, and that is a collab hosted here on YouTube by Sherry at uh, Turquoise Dreaming. I will of course have all her information down below, and I hope you'll go check out her channel and uh, check out all the participants in the hashtag Thrifty Thursday uh, and maybe give uh, Sherry a subscribe and a like. So thank you, thank you, Sherry. Uh, let's get into the haul. All right. Have you guys ever seen, oh, this is a slide right off, but I need scissors. Uh, the colored dot dominoes. What, I've never, look. <laughs> Oh, I was so excited when I found this. My mom was like, what is going on? What What are you so giddy about? Well, you fam know that what makes me giddy. But she's still kind of like, huh? Oh my gosh, I found that. How much was that? No, I don't have a price on that. I don't have a price on a lot. But that was such a fun find. Okay, look at this beautiful resin plate. It's got, if you could see, can you see it has a little lip. I thought this would be perfect for embossing powders, um, which at my last haul I said that I'm going to save this spoon for embossing powders. Look how gorgeous that's going to be sitting on my shelf or my desk. Uh, it sure beats a plastic paper plate or plastic plate is what I was using before. Uh, this is gorgeous. Uh, so that is perfect. And speaking of spoons, I got two. Two more for my collection upstairs in my kitchen. Uh, this one was three dollars, and this one was three dollars. But they are the patina on them. I just can't. I can't. They're gorgeous. Um, you know what? Let me get these two big things before I forget. I bought this sign. Uh, no price. Now I'm Swedish. 
I'm third generation American. My great grandmother and great grandfather came over here from Sweden. Um, and their welcome sign is Wilkeman. This is not Wilkeman. This is um, Wilkem. Now, I believe that is German. But the German language, to my understanding, and Swedish language is not that very far apart. Uh, and when I see this, I think Swedish, so it, I love it, and I'm going to put it on the outside of my door to my craft room. Because I do believe it still translates to welcome. I got two hinkies, guys. Look, I don't get that many hinkies. This one was $2, and this one $2. If you know, and you've been here a long time, it's been a long time since I was able to find some good priced hankies. But it's just gorgeous. I have these actually in my garden right now. Or my landscaping, I should say, not my garden. Uh, gorgeous. I can't remember what the flower is, but it's beautiful. <laughs> and this one too. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm so excited. So excited. I'll be keeping those because I do not get those very often at all. I bought a wooden spoon. This is for use upstairs or decor upstairs in my kitchen. Had to. I, I, I'm, I'm on a mission. I'm almost there to get rid of all the plastic uh, serving, not serving, yeah, I guess serving utensils and cooking utensils, the big ones, uh, in my kitchen. I have wooden stainless steel now, <laughs> almost all. Uh, Christmas in song. Look at that cover. I uh, don't see a price on this one. No, but look at the, the ink. It's green. Can you just? Jingle bells. A babe is born in Bethlehem in a manger. Christmas was born on Christmas Day. The seven days of Mary. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. That's going in my Christmas pile. Now, here we go. Another one of these. If you've seen, I just did an organize with me in my craft room. Uh, kids books and little golden books. And I didn't even realize that these aren't little golden books. I just always assumed because I never picked them up and really looked at them until I organized through them. The Bonnie books, they're called. And this one has little cutouts in the cover. Can you see that? Uh, dot to dot, stories, riddles, mazes, color, paint, things to do, fun, and puzzles. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, wow. Okay, so the date is 1956. And I bet you I could get a lot of this pencil off. I hope so, but I mean, I might leave some. The kid had a lot of fun doing it. He looks like he totally enjoyed, or she, and her book. Riddle Corner, what it, what is it that occurs twice in a moment and not once in a thousand years? The letter M. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, that's funny. Uh, the wonder, wonder Book of Nursery Songs. Uh, words and music to songs children love best. This is my Wonder Book, Dixie Christmas 1957. 1951 is the original copyright on the book. Look at that. Look at my baby. Hold on. I'm sorry. My phone is running. Okay. Sorry about that. Did you ever see a lassie little bo peel? look. Oh my goodness. Oh, I might have to keep this one. Well, I would keep it because it's short. So that's easy. 
this one I might put in the Maker's Market. Um, I didn't see any prices on those. Wow, is it is so me. He said, what are you doing? I said, recording. He said, okay, I'll be quiet. <laughs> Heloise's housekeeping hints. Uh, 1962. Buy man Buy your meat. Okay, this is funny. Buy your meat first. Buy a week's supply at a time because if you don't, you will find that each time you go for meat, you will pick up several other things that you could have done without. <laughs> well, isn't that the truth? <laughs> We have crust on chicken, salad dressings with a difference. Make a clean sweep of it. The organize, organize, the organization woman. I just cleaned, oh my gosh, the organization woman. I just finished cleaning my linen closet. I have been cleaning such closets for years and only recently learned how everything in the closet should be removed. Not one shelf at a time, but all at once. If you don't, and don't plan on doing anything else for the day. If you get that done, you'll be exhausted. <laughs> yes, yes, you will. Overloading, overloading a common fault. Rinse them right smart. Spare the soap. Run the skillet clean. Burn the skillet clean. The best way to clean an iron skillet that over the years has acquired a thick coating of grease on the outside and some on the inside is to find someone who has a coal furnace. Throw the skillet into the furnace for half an hour on the hot coals and presto, it comes out brand new again. <laughs> okay, I thought you wanted that. Okay, uh, this doesn't have a price either and I don't know what it is I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't open it hold on let me see scientifically tinted Nuvu effectively reduces eye fatigue okay there's no way I bought this without looking at it oh it's just cards oh my goodness I had to have known that. Very pretty. That'd be gorgeous in a boho journal. It's like little oriental rugs. Oh my goodness. What is this? Is this a pen? It's a pencil. That is a pencil. Oh, how fun. And this is a bridge. Tally sheet. Contract score pads. Oh, I love the green font. Wow. Very fun. I got some bags too, guys. Um, I don't drink coffee. I will never do a coffee journal. But I just could not leave them there. They must have been a really good price. Uh, so I will definitely be putting all three of these on the Maker's Market. I just love, love that imagery. Old plantation still cut coffee. Ye olden coffee house. <laughs> I wish I had prices for you guys. Uh, two pound bolted yellow cornmeal made from selected corn star roller mills, Burlington, Indiana. Do you know where Burlington is? I don't think so. Oh, two dollars each. So I must have had a plan on using these as a cover of a journal. <laughs> They have a flop. Oh, that is really nice. Oh, I love these. Or including them in like a farm journal. Uh, this is not for journaling. This is just for decor upstairs. Uh, I I don't know if it's food grade. I It's hard to gauge without knowing. So it probably will just hang on the wall. I might even get my daughter to cut me something out of the cricket. I have a cricket. It's my cricket. Do I use the cricket? 
No, because I'm too intimidated to learn the cricket. But my daughter said that her and her friend wanted to come over and learn how to do it. And they did. A couple hours there making sweatshirts. I was like, wow, now you can teach me or you can just do it for me. Which is even better. And I did forget one of the big things. Okay, guys. Here is the test. Has anyone seen these? Of course you have. Seen, of course everyone's seen these, right? Um, they used to hang, they hang on the wall. There's little, little hooks back there to hang on the wall. And you put, I guess you put spoons in them from every little state uh, that you visit. I, on the other hand, seen this and I thought, wait for it. Let me get up and go get up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. And I'm going to be heartbroken, but yes, this is what I uh, envisioned for this. And here is my, I'll show you my little January Edith Holden mug, <laughs> which I love so much. Okay, uh, yes, when I seen these, this is what I thought. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to be bummed. But if it, it does, you guys, <gasps> what? Okay, probably not all of them. Oh! <gasps> No. Oh my gosh, it works. Oh, no way. Oh, I'm so totally psyched. Okay. Well, I would probably get rid of these because I want to get them all black maybe. Or, yeah, all black because it's probably the easiest one to find. Look. Is that fun or what? No way. Oh my gosh. I wish I had more. Yeah, some of them might not work. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. What? <laughs> yes. Okay. Cool. That is exactly what I wanted it for. And it is going to work. Whether now I have to decide if I want to keep it in its original um, color or do I want to change it up. But when I get ready to, we'll organize it together. Um, and I'll go, I'm definitely going to go get some more from Dollar Tree of those uh, brushes. That does not also have not a price. Oh, this does have a price because this I got it by itself and I actually stuck the receipt in there. Uh, arts and crafts. Look at them colors. Oh, excuse me. I paid $1.25 for this book. Just for the cover. I, I don't remember liking anything inside. Um... Oh, it's volume of hmm. I don't see it a year. Oh, it looks like clay pottery, uh, which I've never done, and goodness knows I do. Oh, it's all different kinds of crafts. I do not need a. Oh my gosh, that's another thing for Shane. I try so hard to ignore it because I don't need any more hobbies. <laughs> but they're so fun. <laughs> they look so much fun. All these different crafts. But anyway, yep, I got it for the cover. I love the cover. Okay, one more thing, guys. And, nope, two. This is not uh, for store stuff or antique stuff. This is from a shop, a wool shop. And I got some wool. And I don't remember how much. I, this stuff was expensive. Look, I got some real wool. <laughs> oh, it's so soft, you guys. I wish you could feel it. These are from Sandy's Sheep, though. But I wish I did have some from Sandy Sheep. Uh, oh, it says indigo, butterscotch, and blush colors. And I got some yarn. These are for junk journals. 
those are for, well, the colored ones I'll probably use because I'd like to learn how to, uh, oh, what's the word? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I guess it's felting. Yeah, because the white stuff is going to be felting soap, um, which is you wrap it around soap, a bar of soap uh, for cleaning, kind of like a washcloth. And then felting, I don't know if it's the same thing, but you like push push it in with a needle and you make beautiful like um, images. And I thought that would be really fun to play with uh, to make junk journals. And these, of course, are just string, just trim to have in my stash. This color, it's, it's I hope it's coming off as green and on the camera as it is in real life. This is just gorgeous. This is like a buttery yellow, if that's hopefully what's coming across. Okay, now the last thing. Oh, this big, huge thing I got. Um, I don't remember. I know it wasn't expensive, but these are more cooking pamphlets and stuff. Looks like. <laughs> Unless this this might have been separate, and she just stuck them in the bag. Aunt Patty's Antique Mall, Park County. Oldest Antique Mall in Rockville, Indiana. So this I got on the way to Nashville, Indiana. Uh, Rockville is where they have the Cover Bridge Festival, which I cannot wait to go. Okay, I'm going to go through these really quick. Betty Crocker's Bisquick Party Book. This is gorgeous. Oh, so it must be home. 1957. The Cookie Book. That's one, um, that's a full-size hardcover book that I have uh, been on the hunt for. It's called The Cookie Book. Uh, 1969. 250 Tasty Snacks, Ideas for Entertaining. I'm guessing it's going to be the same age. Where did I find that? Uh, yeah, we'll just say it's the same age. <laughs> uh, meat, 20, 20 way, 250 ways to prepare meat. Now this one I do already have. Metropolitan Cookbook. No, I don't see a date on here either. Today's recipes, chocolate icing made with corn syrup, June 1st, 19 something. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oven cooking guy with recipes. Oh, look, it's got pink pages. Kitchen tested recipes, apple cider cake, coconut macarons, cupcakes, orange pecan butter cups. Uh, cooking the modern way. Uh, 1948. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's so fun. Look at that. That looks like a drawing. That has to be a drawing, right? Or a painting? I can't even tell. It's gorgeous, though. Electric oven menus and recipes. 43 oven menus, 200 recipes. Uh, oh, that is so cool. Uh, meals to... I don't know what that word is. Meals to modern electron... Electric, electric, oh God. Meals... So I don't know. <laughs> A ball freezer book. Oh, wow, that's cool. Freezer pickles? Is that a thing? I didn't even know that was a thing. Crisp country pickles. Crisp country pickles to keep in freezer or refrigerator for hot weather meals. I didn't know not, did not know freezer pickles was a thing. I'm totally going to take that upstairs. I got to try that. This is definitely going upstairs. How to freeze apples and sugar. That's crazy. 
still do better with ball. Oh my gosh, that's going upstairs. Kitchen tested flavor perfect. 100 recipes. A lot of these don't have dates. Uh, nope. Corned beef, cocktail sauce, lemon butter sauce, plum pudding, money saving main dishes. United States Department of Agriculture, Home and Garden Bulletin number 43. Uh, 1955 meat potato burgers 3 fourth pound chopped raw beef 3 fourth cup chopped or coarsely grated raw po potato hmm well that's interesting Ooh, rabbit no thank you Shortcut breads from Pillsbury Cookoff Collection. <laughs> Looks like you went to some binder. <laughs> Herbs, stickles, Parmesan honor rolls. Well, that's cool. Easy cheesy buns, almond marmalettes. Never heard of that. Oh wow, this is fun. Oh my gosh, this is a lot. Oh, this is the same as the first one. Uh, 500 snacks. Oh, shoot. Uh, I don't see a date. The Romance of the Kitchen by Ida Bailey Allen. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't even want to turn the pages. Wow. This I will definitely be keeping. Oh no. Oh yeah, it's falling apart. No date on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, we won't be doing nothing with that. Uh, the baking book, General Foods of Cooking School off air. On the air. Of there. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, this one might be my favorite. Okay, guys. That's it. Oh, look. We have one more. I bought these uh, for a dollar piece. I can't remember what they're called. But I did recently run into the actual... I think that you put them in and I tried it and it does not work. <laughs> I thought these would be cute in Valentine's Journal. All about love. Okay guys, that's it. We are done with my Nashville, Indiana haul. I hope that you will hang out with me again. Uh, in one of my other videos, I'll put one here and here. And I hope you will come back and hang out with me on my next video as well. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hugs.